Are you trying to design a website, maybe build a new app, or configure a product like Monday, Asana, or Trello for your project team to use? In each of these cases, you need to understand CX and web design. Coming up next on Project Skills Mentor, I'm going to take you through three things you need to have a mindset about and six ideas for how you can improve your website design today. So let's talk about these three mindsets. I call them mindsets because they're not tips and tricks. They're actually ways you need to think about the work you're going to do. Number one is customer experience. How is the person going to use this tool and what does it mean to them? Not just what steps do they follow, but what is the value to them? And does it make sense given the situation that they're in? Do these steps make sense? Does this visual representation make sense? Next, customer engagement whether that's a user or an end customer. Thinking about how you engage with them, how you find out if you're doing it right. Growth. Customer growth is really about sustainability, relevance, and making sure your future state is ahead of this future state needs of that end user or customer. Website design is important. We've all learned that through either personal use or some kind of training we've had. But of course we know that websites can repulse us or attract us and it can be either intuitive to use or it can be disruptive to our way of working. In which case we're going to stop using it because we don't need hard in our lives. So let's talk about these six tips that can help you keep yourself on track when designing anything. Tip number one, personalize the content. Personalizing the content for the role or the individual on that site at that time is what's going to attract them to the site. It's going to be fit for purpose for that person. So they're more likely to actually execute the task that they're to do. And if you're trying to sell them something extra, they're more likely to do that because you're actually focusing on them, talking to them on that website. Point two, rely on social proof. The like sign and subscriptions are an easy way for people to see approval. By the way, if you haven't hit the like button or subscribed, please think about doing so. It'll really help the channel. But that is a great way. Social proof is a great way. So even if you're doing something internally, think about ways that you can show social proof with like buttons, share buttons, or other kinds of methods that you can get people to show they are using the tool. Even putting testimonials on your communications can really be helpful when users are saying, I'm using this tool and it's helping me. This is one near and dear to my heart. Number three, provide great support. You know, supporting a tool is now more and more done with bots. And I really think that's a mistake because bots can only get you so far. It's true that if you have a lot of content coming in and a lot of users to help, bots can be a way to triage the work you're going to do. But don't forget that great customer support will always end with a person at the end of the day. That might be not tier zero of support, but maybe tier one or tier two. But getting the right kind of support to your users is again, going to keep that site attractive and keep adoption high. Number four is making buying easy. Now that may be obvious on what to do when you have a commercial situation, a retail sale. But if you're doing something internally, you can also make buying easy by having those steps be easy to understand. You know, I love those bullets where it shows step one, two, and three. And then the user can see where they are in the scheme of things, whether they're processing something that they need to pay for or whether they're asking for vacation time. Make it easy, make it understandable, and make it traceable so you can tell where you stopped if you have to exit the system for a minute to find something else out and come back make it easy and to review data you've already processed. The best way you're going to find out if you're successful is to ask. And the best way to ask is to do so in person, online in a chat, or put in a very simple survey. Getting feedback, real feedback from your real end users, customers, or clients is the best way you're going to know whether you're doing it right. And if you ask, you must act. Never ask a question on how can I improve? and then do nothing. And there's two parts to doing something. There's two parts to that action. The first part is to fix the thing mentioned. If people say they want to see something different, do it. And the second point is let them know you've listened and you've acted. They may not notice that you changed the thing. In fact, the people who benefit from it might not be the person who actually mentioned it. So be sure to say something. Say something either on your website, say something in your app, here's something new but focus people's attention on it so that they know it's been listened to and the change is coming from a customer request, 
That kind of responsiveness will give you big credit points and show that you're adaptive and addressing issues from your customers. Point six, iterate your website. Websites, apps, and tools are meant to be used. And that means they have to be evergreen. They have to be adjusted to the new way of working, changing behavior, changing users. Customers may change over time. So there's a bit of a balancing act with iterations. You want to keep solid performance on your current product and make sure to test things before they go out to your final user. Test them with some users to make sure they really fit for purpose and are meeting the needs of your users but iteration is the lifeblood of sustainability and you'll want to make sure you focus on that. And if you're looking for more about how design thinking and workshops can help you understand how to make a better website, a better tool, or a better app, check out this playlist. And I'll see you next time on projectskillsmentor.com. Bye-bye, everybody.